this is the introduction to one of the Dutch uh, contributions to the Comenius project about sustainability. And since we're Dutch, of course, our part has to be about windmills. In an old-fashioned windmill, wind energy is converted into mechanical energy for grinding or, for example, pumping up water. Let's go inside. Here you can see the shape of uh, the blade of an old-fashioned windmill. This here is the so-called king shaft, the main shaft directly connected to the blades, uh, which goes all the way through the windmill and at the bottom of the windmill uh, uh, transfers this mechanical energy to the grinding parts. Here, the rotation of the blades is uh, changed with 90 degrees to the rotation of the main axis. Here there's the, uh, what's called the crown wheel. Wind energy is converted into mechanical energy for grinding or, for example, for uh, pumping water. In modern windmills, however, uh, the kinetic energy of the wind is converted into electric energy. The principle on which uh, such uh, a modern windmill works is called induction. It's the principle that converted, converts uh, motion energy, kinetic energy, into electric energy. Uh, I'm going to show you how this works with a very simple experiment. What we've got right here is a very long wire. Uh, we call it a coil because it's wound like this, but it's actually one long wire and the ends of the wire, are, the, ends of, the two ends of this wire are connected to these other wires and these two wires are connected to a uh, voltmeter. However, we just have a wire and a voltmeter and we don't have a voltage supply or uh, another battery type thing. So normally you wouldn't expect a current to occur. And if I use this pencil and I move it back and forth into and out of this coil, you see that Surprisingly enough, nothing happens. However, if I take this thing here, uh, a strong magnet, and I do the same thing, I move it back and forth in and out of the coil, what you see is this. And the faster I move it, the larger the voltage gets. So, and if I move it slowly, then you still get a voltage. But if I put it into the coil and leave it there, the voltage uh, disappears again. If I take it out again, you get a voltage. If I put in the south pole of this magnet, the white side, uh, actually the meter does the opposite of what it does uh, when I move the north pole in and out. If I leave the south pole in there, Again, you see that the uh, voltage becomes zero. So the conclusion of this experiment is that if you change the magnetic field inside a coil, you get uh, a voltage that changes all the time. So a changing magnetic field leads to an alternating voltage and, in result, an alternating current, like the current we have at, at home. The 230 volts that is the mains inside our house which is also an alternating current. In a bicycle dynamo like this one you will also find magnets and coils. 
because of the some parts inside this dynamo are rotating, the magnetic field inside the coils changes all the time. And because this magnetic field changes, you get a voltage. In larger generators, like the ones inside uh, a modern windmill, you've got the same principle and you also get a voltage. So with this V-belt, the uh, back of the windmill is connected to the bicycle dynamo and the voltage of the that comes out of the bicycle dynamo can be measured by the voltmeter over here. Uh, so I switch on the fan and the windmill starts rotating. And on the voltmeter we read voltage. 